I'm Adam and I'm a product owner at Serato. I've just been making a beat using the concert hall sound pack for Serato Studio. And I'm going to take you through how I made that and a few of the thought processes I had while doing so. Cool, so I've got, the, I've got the concert hall pack here of instruments. So I'll start by recording a rhythmic sequence using the string pluck sound. I'll turn quantize on so that it stays in time with the grid. Cool, so I'm happy with that. So I'll add another layer to that. I'm gonna use this flute sound for a sustained smoothness over the top of that rhythmic part. So I'll turn quantize off for that so I can get it a bit more free sounding. Cool, so that top one's a bit loud so I can hold command and pull down the velocity of that. Now that I've got some melodic elements, I want to start adding some percussion in. So I've got the live break drum kit from Sabrado Studio in here. And let's see what sort of sounds we got out of this. I like these ones, so I might high pass filter those. Maybe a bit of echo. Give it a bit more movement. Might speed up the echo a little bit. Check in some of that drums reverb. I'll record a sequencer. So if I listen to the intro as a whole, what I've got now. Let's bring that down a little bit. Cool, so I'm ready to move on into a bit more of a build up. So copy that scene. Um, might go back to the orchestral sample pack and bring in a few horns. So I like the slightly mellower sound, so I'm just going to filter out some of the highs. So I'll record a sequence in, turn quantize on. to that. And it'll brighten up a little bit still. So I want to create a bit more movement in this build up, so add some more claps and keep something sort of rhythmic on beat. So I've got this clap sound from the Gold Chains drum kit. I'm just going to record that in as a sequence. I'm going to make it sort of a bit more high pitch so I can key shift it up here. Cool. So I'm Liking how that build up's going, I'm going to I'm going to copy that and add some more to that. So I want to make increase the speed at which the claps are happening. I'm going to make the grid twice as fast, so I can add in more rapid claps.
So I'm going to add another melodic element to the second part of that build up. So I've uh, gone back to the concert hall pack and loading the strap face harmonic guitar. Turn play and key off, just because I like to. And I'll put that in mono, so only one note can play at once. And what this does is enable glide. This is with no glide. And if I turn glide on, we'll sort of slide from note to note. And get sort of more of a synthy sound. So I'm going to record a sequence using that with glide on. So now I've got most of the elements to my intro and build up. It's going to arrange those, so I go to song view. I'm going to double up the intro part, and then bring in the build up, and the second part of that. So now, you need to sort of create more of a drop or beat. So for that I'll create an empty scene. I'm going to take this part that we just recorded on the guitar, and add that across. I want that to keep going. this one drop but just to make it a little bit different I'm going to shift it up an octave so I highlight it all with command A and just drag it all up. And now I've done that I'm going to, to start adding some drums. I like those sounds so I'll start programming in a pattern using the sequencer. Start with it quite simple. I'm now going to layer a bass sound with the kick. I'm going to add an instrument. Search by bases. So I'm going to grab this one, 808 Head Explosion. Cool, so I'm going to click in time with the kicks so that they line up. Make the release a bit longer. So that up a bit, put the limiter cruncher. And maybe add a little bit of variation in this sequence. So I've left the space here, I'm going to chuck a sort of a bass fill in there. With the glide. And record that in. So I want to add a bit more to that kick and bass layer. So I'm going to go back to the concert hall pack and use those horns that we used in the build up. Also record that in. Drag this drop down into the arrangement, zoom out, and hear how it sounds coming out of the build up. Cool, the transition sounds a little bit sort of not exciting, so to give more impact, I'm just going to take the stuff out from beat one. So I'm going to remove 
from the drop, the bass from here, this brass note, and the kick. Yeah, that gives the drop a bit more impact. Of course, I want to add some hi-hats into there. A uh, quick way to do this is to use some of the sample loops already here. So I know there's trap hat, three. Use this one, so drag that up. Create a deck, it's synced with the project tempo. Uh, we don't need to key sync this because it's just a percussive element. So if I just drag that in for the duration of that, just doing two sections. Oh, that was well. I'll cut out the silence at the beginning so it matches with the rest of the kit. So I'll do that using automation. I can just bring down the volume up until that point to about zero, pull it right out. Might save it to the kick actually. Cool. So I want to increase the length of this drop, so I'm going to copy that. And in this version, I'm going to take the guitar part before and bring it back down an octave. So if we hear those two sections together. So now that I have most of the drop parts and the build up, I just want to help that transition. I'm going to do this with a ride cymbal. So I drag this up here and select the sample and I'm going to reverse that. So pull out the region that I want it to play across. It's probably a little longer than I need, so I just might bring it up here. And we want it to finish when that snare was hitting at the end of that phrase. So if we hear that now. Cool, that's hit some time. That works. So after the drop section, I wanted to create more of a, a beat groove section. Um, and I did this by taking a bunch of the drums from the drop and the bass. and start to bring back some of the earlier melodic elements from the intro and the build-up. So if I bring these in, we have the strong string plucks, the brass chords, and sustained flute. I've also added in some snare rolls. But in order to create a bit more interest with those, I can automate the key shift for that sample. So, so I'm going to automate some of that in, just so there's a little bit of a difference. Maybe that bit higher, bit lower. I'm just sort of randomly do it and see how it sounds. Yeah, that just creates a bit more variation and interest and makes the sound less static. So we now have quite a lot of elements um, layering over each other and so the kick can get a bit lost in that so to help that punch through we can add a fit called sidechain and I'm going to add these onto all the melodic elements. So I'll grab it from the effects list. hard side chain. So I want the input of this to be the kick from the this is slap drum kit. So this will cause the audio volume of this part to reduce whenever the kick occurs. So I'm going to do that on all three of these parts. Oh, 
Also that's given a bit more space for the kick and bass sample to come through. Um, so I'll drag this beat section down to here. Um, for sort of an outro and start mellowing it out, might just make a version of that. Beat to beat, no bass. All caps lock on. And we can um, take the bass part and in this scene, just hit clear. I'm gonna get rid of the drum parts as well. So create another duplicate of that. And I can remove the main drum part and the snare rolls. <laughs> I might bring back the percussive element from the beginning of the track. That one. And drop it in here. And to finish it, I'm going to pitch down the hats so we can copy that scene. Go back to the trap hats, automation, and we can select key shift and start winding it down. Give a sense of kind of almost like a turntable slowing down in a way. Well, so I like to take my approach, my outros, similar to my intros, but just the opposite. In the intros, I build things up and just add parts, sort of scene at a time. And then for the outro, I kind of do that in reverse and just drop parts out until it sort of mellows out and kind of almost reflects back on the intro. So if we drag these down into the arrangement, we've got after the beat, we've got beat with no bass. Um, so this one was without the drums, and this one with the pitch shifted hats. So if we listen through from here. From here. So pretty happy with how that sounds. Um, all the sounds in this project were taken from the core pack and the concert hall pack in Serato Studio. Uh, the concert hall pack is available for download now from serato.com and it includes this project in there as well. So you can uh, open it up and uh, have a play around and check out sort of how any of these things were done.